Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Gershwiller and Salzman. This game was played in Switzerland in 1965. White started with e4. Black played e5. Knight to f3 attacking the pawn on e5. Knight to c6 defending. Knight to c3. Knight to f6. d4. Pawn takes pawn on d4. And white can capture the pawn with knight. But then black would play the most popular move, pinning the knight, threatening to win the pawn on e4. So in the game, white played knight to d5, discouraging black from playing bishop to b4. This may not be better than knight takes on d4, but with this move white confused his opponent. Now black wasn't sure how to continue. Perhaps he was out of his book. He didn't like this move, bishop to e7, because then a bishop is the target of the knight. In the game, black played h6, and this is the waste of a move. Bishop to f4 was played, threatening knight takes pawn on c7 check, winning the rook. d6, knight takes on d4. Again, bishop to e7 could be played. Black played knight to e5. White captured the knight. Pawn takes bishop. It is white to move. Just imagine that. You have white pieces. It's your move. What is your opponent threatening? Threat is pawn takes knight. You look for captures. You can capture the knight. You look for checks. Bishop to b5. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause the video. And you can try to find the winning move for white. Ready? Bishop to b5 is the winning move. Black played knight to d7 and resigned. Let's take it back. Is c6 good? What do you think? The reason that black didn't like to play c6 is this one. Knight takes on c6. Pawn takes knight. Check. Bishop to d7. Bishop takes rook. And black is advised not to capture the bishop because then knight to c7 is check forking the king and the queen. But there was a bishop to d7. That would be perhaps the best move. And one line goes like this. Bishop takes bishop. Check. Queen takes bishop. Knight takes on f6, check. Pawn takes knight. Knight to f5. White is better, but the game would continue for much longer. Knight to d7 was played. Black resigned. What did black see? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Have a good look. There is a very nice move here for white. Can you see it? Knight to e6, attacking the queen. If pawn takes on e6, then check and checkmate. However, black doesn't have to take the knight immediately. He has this move, bishop to b4, check. Knight takes bishop, pawn takes knight, queen to h5, and white is winning. That was one very interesting game, wasn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.